Debt is to capitalism that which hell is to Christianity. Unpleasant and essential. We are in the middle of the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. The sacrifices of the Greek people will bring the country back to prosperity. The 2008 crisis was not one of the normal periodic downturns. It is the longest damage-inducing crisis in the history of capitalism. I could feel that the tsunami was coming. The result being the modern world that we live in. We were negotiating with financial terrorism, creditors who did not want their money back. Every asset of the Greek state was bundled together. This was a hidden bailout, and we were collateral damage. They want our properties, they want our homeland. Austerity is another term for class war. Orchestrated attempt of economic aggression. It cannot be described in any other way. I could see Wolfgang Schäuble, the German finance minister, getting very agitated. He gets the floor. Elections cannot be allowed to change economic policy. It became a massive battle to prevent the public ever from finding out. Uh, I've never listened to such an inaccurate report. This is what an oligarchy does when an oligarchy gets threatened. Like David and Goliath, they had to get rid of me. The landline rings. If you want your son to continue to return safely every night, you better lay off, and he mentioned a particular bank. We are being dragged into a labyrinth. They had to find ways of violating their own rules. It is Wall Street who was our enemy. Our regulators became enablers. All you can talk about is fairy tales of economic growth. Anybody who tells economics is a science is either a fool or is trying to fool you. We have seen an almost Newtonian revolution in the science of economics. It takes a small spark to ignite a revolutionary moment. Either we move beyond capitalism or we die.